So this is John. We're doing a little interview style um, get together to kind of present to you exactly who we are, what we do, and so you don't have to take my word for it, but actually someone that's come through our program that came from a fantastic background, um, got a little hung up in, in some issues and just needed that additional help that we were able to jump in and give, and then now, dude, the stuff you're doing now is awesome. How much time you have over now? Oh, uh, right at seven months. That's awesome. Yeah. So why don't you go ahead? It's been a long time coming. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you go ahead and, and tell them a little bit about maybe your background. I, I recall you said you had a nonprofit and kind of some things that you were doing uh, that you're passionate about and then what happened along the way that led you to us. Okay, well, yeah, this started a long time ago. Um, from Panama City Beach, Florida, and I grew up in you know, the spring break capital of the world. And, and so getting involved in all that uh, led me into my addiction. Um, first time that I went to treatment, I was 17 years old, um, uh, and if that says a lot, you know, over the years I've, I've been successful in business, I tore everything down that I've ever built, um, and I've lost a lot through my addiction along the way, um, so through many, many treatment attempts, I think this makes number 13. Um, lucky number 13. Lucky number 13. <laughs> Thanks to God. Um, finally getting it right because, you know, there have come points in my life um, where, like I said, I've lost everything due to my addiction. I went to a jewelry store for five years, um, got in some trouble, I was going to lose it, so I sold it. And uh, at that point in my life, I was facing some serious time. Uh, and with that, I met a woman and together we started a venture and wanted to reach out and help addicts. Uh, we started a nonprofit 501c3 status called Halo. Halo stood for helping addicts live on. And there was a beautiful ring to that as it evolved. And, um, you know, being involved in the treatment industry and having just my treatment knowledge background from going through so many different kinds of treatments. Um, you know, I've been I've done an intravenous treatment before. I've done very high scale. I've done state funded. <laughs> um, even went to, which you know. Anyways, so as as my treatment uh, uh, knowledge, I was very savvy at. Tried to apply that in Halo. Um, unfortunately, with that go around. We owned Halo for two years, but within several months of getting Halo off the ground, the trouble that I had got in led me to prison. And through just God being in my life and, and continuing to try to seek Him and Him be a part of my life, um, I have just, I've got great family and support that's, that's led me through all this. Only to when I came home from, from um, doing my time, uh, out the gates, straight back into my addiction. Mm. Just like the, when the gates opened, it was like a horse that had been caged up, straight back into my addiction. And I battled that throughout uh, the last seven years, and I just got to that to that point where you lose hope. Yeah. I mean, that's a bad place for somebody to be. It's when you're in that time. darkness and it's just, you just don't care anymore. It's like, uh, and so I reached out through a final treatment attempt here. Um, I, I came out to California and, you know, it was where I, I landed with my sob sobriety and getting it together is here at Pack Shores. And, you know, I, I would just have to say this, they're a family here to me because um, it even makes me a little emotional. Just, I, I sense that. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. So, um, as I'm coming up on my seven months, and they've just been instrumental in my life changing process because, and something I love about you guys, just your staff is just A plus. From, I mean, clinical to just your, the whole staff. I mean, it's just a great conglomeration of, of just people that are genuinely here to make a difference in people's lives. And one thing that I love about Pack Shores is they tailor each individual because 
You know, they, they have the knowledge and understanding that everybody's situation is different. Their backgrounds, what their DOCs, what they've been through, what, you know, um, their upbringings, uh, everybody has a different story. And so when you come in, it was, it was nice to see that, you know, each person, they take the time to dig in to see how it needs to be tailored for their structure so they can get it. I mean, um, and that's what most programs, I don't see that in their programs, mm. you know, to, it's one thing for, you know, a program to say, okay, we're going to write you out a treatment plan. But it's another thing to really dig in and spend the time, the quality time, to try to get to know each other personally and just that uplifting support. Um, nothing I love about you guys is um, you here, and this is just for, you know, I'm a spiritual person and with my spirituality, I believe in God. And that floats around here, you know, is, is your spirituality, because that's, that's a big key factor for me that I just so am disconnected with when I'm out there. Um, you know, and, and uh, through that, it's just, you know, I've reached a place in my sobriety, I just don't want to go back. Because, you know, the future is, is very bright. And I've been doing a lot of prayer and meditation, and he's answering things quickly. Um, just through my good works, just in this, really not, when I say good works, it's just doing the next right thing. Uh, and you know, you guys just are there to support it, and it's 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 been just a privilege to be here with you guys. Dang man, that's huge. It sounds like an infomercial, right? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, I I, I, I love the, the the genuine authenticity. Uh, and one of the things that I love, uh, first of all, thank you for doing this, but is there's a stigma out there when it comes to drugs or alcohol of, I mean, a lot of, a lot of people out there, it's those people, right? And they don't understand of, look, we're everywhere and we're doing good in the world. And then something happens that knocks us off course. Uh, and, and so it sounds a lot like you have a huge heart, got a little lost along the way, and then able to come back and to recenter and realign. And, and yeah, it's a, I tell people, like, man, it's a different kind of high. It it's, is. it's a good it kind really of, is. and it's sustainable, yeah. lifelong, and it's healthy. It's good for you, it's good for me, it's good for the world. And that's really what we focus on here. Um, but, but tell me, what, what is different? Because just in the few months that I've gotten to, to know you a little bit better, I've seen a change, but even from people that know you a, a little bit better and longer, say it's like you're a different person now. <sighs> a lot of it's, you know, a lot of it I, I just, chalk it up to me, staying plugged in spiritually, but you know, as my focus levels are not the greatest, okay? So it's just... ADD is um, a superpower, by the way. Most people come in and they're like, I, I, can't, I can't do this, I've got ADD, ADHD, and, and once we're able to kind of help recondition that mindset, it's like, you have a superpower. People pay to get ADD where they can just hyper-focus on certain stuff and we actually kind of show you how to dive into that to really use forces for good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a lot, of, a lot of people think that's a hindrance, but uh, one thing that I'm really curious on is what is different now? You said you started at 17, you've kind of been going off and on, but what's different now that, that you know that, hey, it's been sticking week after week, month after month, and why, why you think that is? Well, for, you know, for everyone out there that the reservations, um, number one, it's like losing your identity in that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when it comes to substance and altering the way that you feel to, to feel a substance but not feel your feelings, okay, that's just been a huge thing with me because I feel hard. I love hard, I play hard, I mean, everything is hard, it's like, I'm all in, so. Um, is it just like, rehab hard. <laughs> um, so it's just, you know, with working with phenomenal therapy staff that they have here, you know, I, I'm able to process my feelings. Yeah, that's a big one. And to be open, to move through them, work it, feel it. Um, and know that, you know, within 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna be okay. Like, and allow myself to feel it without just numbing. Um, and that's brought me, you know, a lot of my peers said, wow, that's, this is the most focused 
like the, you know, wow, this is one of the, whoa, John, what's going on with you, buddy? Like, I'm loving what I'm seeing. Um, but it's just enough to just, you know, reel it back in, slow down. Um, that, that old saying, you know, slow down and smell the roses, because life's just so fast, our society is just, and, and as we say, take a step back. And we say, hurry up and slow down. <laughs> right? Because we miss so much, and it's, that's just the biggest thing, working, I'm uh, working with my sponsor, um, and he's just a phenomenal guy, involved in the Sanctuary Church, um, uh, and Mark and, and, and Kenny, they, uh, they, they got a nonprofit organization, TikTok, that they're um, reaching out further to help people. And but within uh, my sponsor, one of the recovery piece for Sanctuary Church, it's it's just been me plugged in. Uh, everybody that I'm surrounding myself, which this is like a first for me. Everybody that I'm surrounding myself with is sober and is just giving back. Um, and being a brother, just almost like humanitarian type way of their life is just, just you know, and that to surround yourself with people like that. I'm, is, so, I'm so good. I'm so glad you hit on that. It, we call it the two C's: connection and contribution. And so it's so imperative to connect and to find ways that you are actually giving a part of yourself in healthy ways to this because it, it kind of leads you into the higher intention self, that, that authentic self, as well as contributing. When we come from a state of, I want to give, it's incredible because we receive even more. It's, it's ironic. When we it take, is. when we take, we don't really get much. When we give, we receive so much more yeah. uh, in, in return. So that's pretty awesome. And, and one other thing that is interesting, we get this time and time again, is people come in thinking they have a drug problem. They actually come in with a drug solution, yeah. but it's it's a John problem, it it's is. a Mark problem. And as we look at that, we go, that's why no matter where I go, I keep keep running into the same stuff. And so that's where, and I'm, I'm so glad that uh, that you covered that, is we peel back the layers yeah. um, in an organic byproduct by actually recognizing the very thing we're running from, which is our feelings, is the sweet part of life. Once we learn how to, how to work through them and condition them and get to really experience them, uh, authentically and then the organic byproduct is I no longer look to numb or to dose or, or to do anything like that so well ma'am thank you so much first of all for, for being here and letting us be a part of your recovery and getting to know you and thanks for being willing to do this so people can see and get a little bit more educated on helping remove that stigma of oh that's right we're, we're all human beings we're all here to to love each other some of us fall all a little little light on the way through this whole process but when we're able to stand up and, and say hey I, I need a little bit of help knowing that there's places out there that are able to come in and say I, I got you bro I got your back you know and I, I appreciate you guys being here for me Mark and I want to I want to add this in there because I think one of the biggest things even to this attempt at my life okay um, is I know that a big thing that all of us addicts and alcoholics struggle with is the guilt mm -hmm. and shame. And you guys have been just instrumental on allowing me, <clears throat> you know, I think one of the hardest people to forgive in life is yourself. Um, and just through the magic that's worked around here, I've just been able to see clearly that, you know what, I can't change the past. And, the present is what we have, and, and it's it's looking forward, not back. And they've been instrumental in helping me realize, uh, make the amends that I've needed to make, um, where I can do so. And that is paramount, uh, I think, because a lot of the shame and guilt mm -hmm. takes you back out, because it's that reason. And to be able to work <clears throat> with your clinical staff has just been just great. Just it's just been awesome. And I thank you guys for helping be an instrument in my life to get my life back on track. So I'm going to continue working in this field, and that's where my passion is. So um, that I've never, <clears throat> I'm just excited about my future, and it's, it's a good thing to see. I love it, man. I, I can see that authenticity. I love it. And I, I think you heard one of the talks that we did, but. Man, you gotta be tested to get that testimony mm -hmm. and you gotta go through the mess to find the message. Right. And brother, you're on the other side, man. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Oh, thank you, brother. Oh, thank you for being here.